not super thrilled with that patch there, how it's so, the spacing and the size of those strokes are so the same. So I gotta go work on that. And it's doing it a little bit down below here too. I do think that one of the differences between this kind of art and art that an artist traditionally does in their studio is that this brings, you know, the gallery or the museum or the idea of how we look at art out into the public. And so as people walk by and they interact and they cheer you on or they just stop and look, it's not just one type of person. Oh, the first time I've seen it. So I just uh, decided to take some lunch downtown and saw this going up. It was wonderful. You got the whole swath of humanity, really the museum sort of brought out in front of them and they're able to encounter it and uh, I think that's pretty cool too the way that it sort of penetrates past that barrier that I think some people perceive between themselves and art. This particular wall was brought about by the interests of Mac Parker representing the Fort Wayne Chamber Foundation and Mark, Mark Millett the building owner who's done been a, owns the, you know Nawal restaurant down here and the landing and everything that's going on he's a part of so good spot for it. In the background of this image, ultimately, there will be um, a cluster of passenger pigeons kind of carrying through, um, you know, which have, have since gone extinct, and they, they do represent that, that loss. That's another big difference with the studio, is that I can just take two steps back, but here I gotta like swing this giant crane all the way out. But you really can't tell what's wrong until you get away from it. Out here, you have to have some part of you that's thinking a little more like a designer almost because you don't necessarily have the community as a client per se, but they have to live with it. So I, I do feel like the conversations that occur with the community are important and they shape the nature of the work. I think it shapes the quality of the work. I think that the pressure is on to do a really good job, to make work that looks stunning, that causes people to really stop and be inspired by it, to be struck by it. Um, so, so the level of craft and care put into it is sort of pressurized in a different way. There's a bit of a loneliness to the image, the solitary nature of this beast, uh, this bison, and I hope that that causes them to, to maybe take a little bit quieter contemplative look at it and to think about this creature who's so large, he's sort of standing in as something more than just a bison, and that that causes them to pause and be swept up in the image. Not just to be like, wow, that's really cool and really big, but and be inspired just by the technique of it, but rather that they are able to, to kind of contemplate the quiet steadiness of this creature 